Well, day number two in the marina, and it already looks like it. I don't know why every boat project requires all of our worldly possessions to be out in the cockpit and on the dockside, but somehow that's how it works. Uh, it looks like Bohemia hasn't moved in months already and uh, isn't going anywhere for a few more. Uh, we are going to be uh, productive today though and set ourselves up for a bunch of boat projects. It's the first time we've been around a major city uh, and so we're taking a car, we're hiring a car and we're going to go and buy a bunch of supplies in town if we can find them. We have a list, a big list, and uh, it's going to be a busy day. That's right. I've been promised to be taken to Puerto Vallarta for months and months and uh, all I'm going to see is the Home Depot and Costco and hardware stores. Great start! Just getting ready for life in the fast lane. Uh, we worked it out, it's been 19 months since we last drove anything. Uh, so anything is going to get the adrenaline pumping after life at six knots. Well, I don't trust them with the boat, I don't trust them with the car. <laughs> Job number one of the day, servicing these little diesel injectors. Uh, critical part of our engine and hopefully they've got a few more thousand uh, hours of motoring left on them. They're going to come back looking shiny new, I'm sure. Dos mil. Dos mil. Dos mil. Three brand new injectors or almost like new. They're actually the old ones, but he's really cleaned them up. I'm so pleased we found a diesel mechanic here. Um, there's diesel engines everywhere, of course, but they're quite difficult to track down the right guys to service the injectors, and he seems to have done a great job. So uh, Bohemia's engine's gonna be purring like a pussycat when we get these back in, and so will the first mate. No need to sail, huh? <laughs> Put the engine on, we can go anywhere we want. Finally, a boat that goes where you point it. That's what the first mate has been asking for all these years. Shopping started. To the first mate's delight, we pressed on with the day and shopped for spare parts, fabric, and hardware. New jerry can covers are coming. Been asking the first mate for those for weeks. What a day! We've been super productive, but we've been all over town and then some. Uh, it's been really nice to see some of the city. Uh, we have done several laps of it, but we've been uh, we've managed to get everything that we set out for, so it's been really good. Look what I got. Shiny and new. All will be revealed. Ooh. So exciting! The moment is finally here where, just like Jesus Christ, we're gonna turn rosé into champagne. <laughs> That's what he would have wanted. <laughs> I'm sure of it. He'll be walking on the water for your next trick, no doubt. <laughs> That's right. And for my next trick, I'm turning this cheap bottle of rosé into a premium priced champagne. <laughs> there you go. No waste here. And over to you, Captain. Welcome to Bohemia's Factory of Fizz. Uh, we're really excited to try this beauty out. It's a homemade soda stream. Uh, all it is is a, a bottle of CO2 and a high pressure regulator. Uh, so we've got this special little screw top for the bottles. Uh, just put it on the top and we've got a soda stream that should last us the whole year. Ready? <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, and then you just give it a good shake. You can hear the CO2 hissing into it right now. I'm wasted as a captain. Should be a full-time bartender on here. It's all in the shaking, as the first mate will tell you. I like my shaken, not stirred. That's a relief, because stirring would be a pain. Wow, this is extra cold. Someone's been turning the freezer down to unauthorized temperatures right now. 
we're gonna have to be very careful opening this thing up. <laughs> the question is, is it gonna hit? I can smell the champagne. Oof. Oh, look at the fizz. There you go, we sort it. Champagne for everyone! <laughs> Take that, the French, we don't need you. Now all I need to do is put it back in a bottle and resell. <laughs> so one of the many jobs that we want to get done while we're here in the marina uh, is to reinforce our anchor roller slash bowsprit. Uh, we fly our spinnaker, our asymmetrical spinnaker, uh, from this block here that we've just attached to the anchor roller. And um, quite often when we fly it, we see the whole anchor roller just flexing up um, and straining. So uh, it puts quite a bit of strain on the, uh, the stainless here, which isn't really designed to handle those kind of loads. Uh, we just fly it out like this at the front of the boat. Um, so what we want to have done uh, is to have a reinforcement made uh, coming kind of down like this uh, onto the bottom of this chain plate that the force stays attached to, so a really strong attachment point, um, and welded at the side of here, and just have a little support that brings the uh, this block and the foot of the spinnaker uh, out and away from the bowsprit and is supported back on the onto the hull. It's another morning session of boat yoga. I can really recommend it to get the blood pumping to your head. Well, something needs to start flowing up there, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, thank you for your support, as usual. I'm uh, measuring up a little template to reinforce our bow roller. Project number 250 something, I think. Well, the good news is we've got our shiny new anchor roller to fly our spinnaker from, so really looking forward to trying that out. Uh, unfortunately, with projects like this, one job seems to lead to another and uh, I have, it's highlighted that I need to rebed and take off uh, our four stay attachment here. Uh, so the old corking is coming loose and uh, it's a good excuse while I got all this uh, out to really inspect it. We've never had it off before since we owned the boat. Okay, well here goes nothing. Okay, well the mast is holding, that's the good news. So I've instructed the crew to just stand behind the mast, just with one hand casually supporting it in case anything should go wrong. Well, here we go, another day in paradise. The entire boat is again unusable. Remember, never ever trust the captain when going to a marina for relaxation and chilling out. It never turns out that way. Looking good! Bohemia finally has a bowsprit! But this is a lot, lot stronger. I've been hanging off it uh, all different which ways with all my weight and uh, it's not budging. So this should see us uh, cross an ocean if there's any light winds out there to be found. <laughs> Exciting day today. We are headed to the boatyard. It can be so stressful watching your home suspended 20 feet in the air from a crane uh, after spending so long aboard. But I think we've got the perfect solution. Do it with somebody else's. Make it someone else's problem. Uh, it should be a great chance to check out the boatyard here uh, and see how it all works down in Mexico. It's been two years plus, over two years since we last hauled out Bohemia and uh, we're a little overdue. So, uh, good practice, huh? Hi, hi, Captain. Your best crew is reporting for duty. <laughs> very good. It's a very damp morning. Oh, I see it's a, I see it's a buffet breakfast. It is. Banana bread. How are you guys? Very, very nice. nice. So Tom, how does it feel not to be a captain? <laughs> Feels great. I love not being a captain. I take any chance I get not to be a captain. 
I think it's in time to sort out the pecking order on this vessel. <laughs> I'm maintaining, my position hasn't changed, I'm still first mate, right? Oh, I thought you were about to say you were going to maintain something for a second. Should I give him something to do? <laughs> so what does that make me, the lackey? Yeah. I need some dishes or something, yeah? I think that word bilge bitch was mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how that always comes up, huh? Wow, it's a big boat and it motors really fast. I feel like I should be fastening my seat belt. <laughs> Need your hard hat on for this. It's going to be a wild ride around the corner. Finally made it to the helm of a big, heavy, proper ship. The movement is uh, already different to Little Bohemia. Just cutting through the water rather than us bouncing around on top of it. Look at that! The captain is putting me a chain. Well, I gotta say, crew happiness and morale is so much better looked after on Boundless. And it's all due to the galley, who'd have thought it? <laughs> well, I've tugged on my one line today and uh, I think my work is done. So you can see everything is shiny and clean. I've been busy for the last two <laughs> hours. Next job, down below. I bet it's the right mess. Time to get scrubbing that bilge, huh? I, everything is so huge. I mean, look at this binnacle. <laughs> <It's like laughs> massive. I think it's time for a bigger boat. Boundless is a beautiful Passport 42, which has been meticulously restored by Julian and his partner Colin. We get serious boat envy every time we visit. So right here we have captains hard at work. One is drinking coffee and the other one is chatting away. The first mate decided it was time to put the captains back to work with some tough questions. So is this a sailboat? This is a sailboat, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first clue is the white pointy thing that goes up there. <laughs> the second clue, I don't know, maybe some sails but not today. <laughs> so Boundless is a 1984 Passport 42, um, but when we bought the boat it needed a lot of work and we have done probably a pretty extensive three-year refit. We're off to the boatyard today to do a couple other things. The last one uh, piece of the puzzle really is to take drop the rudder which is quite complicated on this boat um, and that's going to be a big uh, job which we haven't tackled yet which we will have then done so that'll be nice. Don't worry I've been loosening the bolts this morning. <laughs> it's all ready to drop down there. <laughs> <laughs> See? And you accuse me of not doing anything useful. This is a really nice captain's holiday. Day out on someone else's boat. It's quite a lovely trip actually. We've been in our slip for a little while already, so uh, it's really nice to be back out on the bay, see a beautiful sunrise. It's the perk for waking up in the dark. We try not to think too much about the haul out. <laughs> and the hard work awaiting cook Julian. Second round of hot drinks. You know, some people say haul outs are stressful, but I think hauling other people's boats is the way to go. <laughs> Banana bread, sir. Oh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> this one, <laughs> it's about two inches thick. I don't want to take it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Who cut this? Uh, <laughs> okay. I came by that from the store, I'll be honest. Uh... <laughs> He lied to us. <laughs> there you go. But it is, That's it my is. proof. They cut a cake into six pieces. <laughs> Truth always comes out under cross-examination. Store job. Do you wanna, do you wanna... <laughs> Charge <it> up? <laughs> Second breakfast. After another slice of banana bread and a small coffee refill, the two captains navigated flawlessly into Puerto Vallarta Marina and its boatyard of Pequima.
the time came to motor Boundless slowly into the slings and prepare to haul her out. We paid close attention to the process, as Bohemia's turn would come in only a couple of short weeks. All went smoothly and Boundless was soon washed and blocked, ready for the rudder repair. Thank you to Julian for hosting us for the morning and making us feel right at home on his sail boat. It's the white pointy <laughs> thing that goes up there. <laughs> if you are enjoying our episodes and would like to buy us a drink, then please head over to www.patreon.com forward slash Sailing Bohemia, where you'll find a small menu of our favorite cocktails to choose from. Couple to the port side. I like my shake and not stirred. Special thanks in this episode go to all of our patrons for keeping Bohemia's crew sailing three sheets to the wind. Thank you so much, and here's to you all. Champagne for everyone. <laughs> If you enjoyed this episode, then please don't forget to tell YouTube all about it by commenting, liking, and sharing. See you next time.